Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wash and straighten your hair. I'm going to be using this Almond Milk Daily Damage Repair line from Carol's Daughter. Flat ironing your hair when you're natural is definitely not something you should ever be afraid of. And I think if you use the right products and the right technique, you can get really good results that are not damaging and actually keep your hair healthy even if you are applying heat. So I'm gonna go in with my shampoo, try to focus the product on my scalp, and then when I rinse it out, the shampoo trickles down to the rest of my hair. So it does clean my entire head, but I do focus on the scalp because my scalp is very dry and I get a lot of dandruff and build up there. I'm using um, a tangle teaser to brush through my hair and keep it from tangling up on me. Um, that just kind of helps to invigorate my scalp and detangle and disperse the product throughout the entirety of my head. After that, I'm rinsing my hair out and um, just trying to get all the product out as much as possible. I'm using a t-shirt to dry my hair off. Um, and I'm going to use this deep conditioning mask by Carol's Daughter and it is in the Almond Milk line as well. Um, it's super nice, guys. It's not sticky or th super thick. It's very like lightweight feeling. So I'm working that throughout my hair not to get the most out of this product I am going to sit under the dryer so what I'm gonna do is put a plastic bag on my hair now if you have like you know um, shower cap or something that would be the more appropriate way to do this once I get that on my head I'm going to sit under the dryer for 20 minutes now sitting under the dryer is just going to open up your hair cuticle so that the product can penetrate instead of just sitting on top whenever you apply a product on top of your hair and your cuticle isn't open it doesn't necessarily penetrate deep into your hair and work from the inside out also be sure to rinse your hair with cool water so that it closes the cuticle and locks in all of that product I have to wash my hair with cold water anyway since my hair is red and it's only a rinse it's not a permanent hair color so I want to make sure that most of the hair color stays in there so I'm taking the leave-in conditioner from the line and I'm actually going to spray this all over my hair while brushing it and making sure there's no tangles um, so I'm kind of combing my hair out as well as applying the leave-in conditioner this to make sure to get every single hair strand coated with leave-in conditioner so that it's soft and easy to blow dry, easy to manage once it's straight. Just a tip you guys, when you know you're going to straighten your hair, you want to make sure that you do all of your moisturizing, detangling, all of your, you know, treating the hair before you blow dry, before you add any heat tool, hot tool to your hair. You wanna make sure to get every product that you need in there. So make sure to use a heat protectant if you need one. Um, I would suggest using a heat protectant because you wanna make sure to lock in all the protection and thermal care that you need before you start blow drying. So I will be sure to link a heat protectant for you guys in the description box. So now I'm blow drying my hair. All of the hot tools that I use will be linked in the description box, um, but I love this blow dryer because it has a comb on it. Make sure you use a comb when you are blow drying your hair because if you don't use a comb attachment, you'll have a hard time getting your roots straight and you wanna make sure your hair is straight as much as possible before you start straightening. So what I mean by that is when you're blow drying your hair, make sure that you blow dry it from root to tip. Make sure that each strand of hair is as straight as it possibly can be with just blow drying so that by the time you get to actually straightening it with a flat iron you're not flattening frizz and kinks and you know like curly hair you don't want to flat iron curly hair you don't want to go straight from curly to straight you want to make that transition with the blow drying -ness, -ness, ness you got me so I'm blow drying my hair making sure to get it as straight as possible and then I'm gonna go in with the straightening process oh also make sure to seal your hair before you uh end the blow drying process make sure that you put it on cool and blow it out on cool to calm your, and cool your hair down so it's not extremely hot when you go into the second part which is straightening all right so now I'm gonna clip my hair back and start with the back my hair is short in the back so you want to make sure you get a small flat iron for this get a small one inch I think this is a one inch flat iron um, mini flat iron whatever you got to do girl just make sure it's small okay and you want to curl your hair um, so that it's not like sticking straight out and looking like a porcupine in the back um, get those straight hair get those small hairs as much as possible and just be careful please don't burn yourself <laughs> please don't burn yourself it's very easy to burn yourself when your hair is this short but go slow use small sections the smaller section the more straight 
it will get on the first pass because you don't want to pass over your hair too many times with a flat iron that causes more damage than needed so make sure you're getting it straight with one pass by using little pieces little sections after going through and straightening the bottom part I'm going to go up to the top just work your way from the bottom to top if you have shorter hair that's easiest um, if not you can go however you want but I recommend starting with the smaller pieces first and I'm going to use a small flat iron just on the lower portion of my hair the short portion and then that long part at the top is going to be straightened with a regular flat iron now I'm using my bigger flat iron to go over the longer pieces so that I get it done faster because if you go, you can go through your whole head with a small flat iron but it's going to take you forever and a day. So I'm going to use my bigger flat iron now that I'm getting more closer to the longer part of my hair. And uh, as you can see my hair has grown out a lot guys. I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I really don't like my hair right now because it's really long and I'm trying not to cut it because I told myself I wouldn't cut my hair this year but we're gonna just keep going with what we got guys okay uh, so I'm flat ironing the hair using a comb and the chase method if you guys don't know what the chase method is you basically put a comb in your hair and you put the flat iron behind the comb and flat iron your hair down after you comb it out so you're kind of like getting each hair individual hair um, having heat applied to it so that you get an even flat iron does that make sense and I will say that I think those Carol's Daughter products really did help to get my hair shiny and soft and easy to manage because sometimes products can be a little heavy or sticky and they weigh my hair down and it doesn't flat iron right like you can just tell some products weigh your hair down or make it I don't know have like a residue or film on it and so when you flat iron it it just does not lay right but as you can see my hair is very shiny it's smooth and it's definitely holding up really well while I'm flat ironing it it's not frizzy or dry looking which is a must for me because my hair is color treated so it gets dry very easy and it can look frizzy and dry so to have products that make it look smooth and shiny is always a plus for me so now that I'm getting to the top of my hair, I'm just going through making sure I'm bumping it to give it some volume. Um, but I mean, I don't really need volume because we've got a big old mushroom going on here. I mean, my hair is pretty long and it's grown at, growing out of its style. So in order for me to flatten it down and not look so poofy, I'm going to comb through it and I'm going to tie it down and let it cool off while it's tied down so that it kind of molds and shapes the hair down a bit so it's not too fluffy. So I'm going to get my hair scarf and I'm going to wrap that around my head and I'm going to go do my makeup and stuff and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product alright so now that I've got my makeup on and everything like that I'm going to take off my scarf I'm going to use a wide tooth comb to comb through my hair and I'm going to just finger comb it make you know make it look nice do whatever you got to do to get it the way you want it to look and that's pretty much it it's pretty much done um, my hair is super super straight and it feels really great and I will say that I really like these Carol's Daughter products so guys be sure to check the description box if you want to try out any of the products that I showed in this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one alright make sure you subscribe and hit that uh, bell button so you get the notifications from me so that you know when I upload a new video okay bye guys